All right, what is today, you guys? Chicken! Chicky day! We're gonna go pick up some chicks. We'll take you along for the ride. We're so excited! Yeah! Here we're at Freedom Ranger Hatchery. This is where we've gotten our chicks for years and years. We used to live farther away, so we would actually have them shipped to us on a Wednesday. They hatch on Tuesdays, and then we'd have them shipped to us by Wednesday. So we get Dale chickies, but now they hatch on Tuesday, so we just come and pick them up. It's pretty close to our house, just about a 30-minute drive, and we love them. They've always been um, just a really great company to work with and really quality birds, and so we're so excited to go see our chickies. I'm gonna go first. Ring the bell for service. You wanna ring the bell? Who's gonna be the bell ringer? Wait, for right here. All right, here we go. Wanna see them? Yeah. Huh? Let's look in the box. All right. Exciting. Yeah. Oh, we can't wait. Okay. Oh my gosh. All right, we got them. Um, that sound, I could almost cry. We used that used to be such a common sound for us, and we haven't heard all that chirping in a long time. So it's really fun to have this many chicks again. And now we're just excited to get them home and to get them some water and some food. We got the chickies home, and you can see they're in this brooder that Jeremy built here in our shed. So here is our backyard and here's our shed and he put this perfect little brooder in here for them. We need to get them all set up. So we need to turn the light on, we need to get their food, we need to get their water and get them introduced to their new, their new jigs. All right, we have this little dinky water because we can't find the top to the medium sized water and the big water is like too big. I'm afraid they'll get in there and then drown until they get a bit older. So we're gonna have to keep an eye on this because they'll go through this really fast. But we'll have to do for now. Oh my gosh, if it's gonna work. There we go. There we go. There we go. Awesome. We finally figured out how to open the bag. Tell people that. <laughs> <laughs> we need a scoop. Time to put the feed in. Well, all right, we got the feed, we got the water. Now we just have to count them. Put the chicks in. Yes, yeah. count them. Count them and put the chicks in. What is it? Daisy? Yeah, the oh, oh, the next one goes All right, so Daisy's going to give the chick to Weston. And Weston is going to show the chicky where his food is, where his water is. And now he can go play in his new little brooder. All right, we have to do this and count at the same time. So let's see if we, can do this. we already have two. All right, Chloe, your turn. All right, that's our okay, third one. Real careful. Two hands. Don't let it touch you. Real, it's all right. It doesn't hurt. Yeah, it doesn't hurt. Careful. Hand it to Weston. All right. This next one is for chicks all set up they seem happy in their new home we're playing with a few of them out here on the grass for now but this is the start of our journey raising our own food in the city we don't live in a farm we don't live in the country um, but we have some space back here big enough to raise a few birds for ourselves for the year and we are just really excited to be able to produce some food on our own property even though we don't have a farm right now so we just appreciate you guys tuning in. We're glad that you stopped by our channel. 
if you wouldn't mind, stop by and give us a thumbs up. Leave us a comment. Let us know if this is something that you're considering. Um, there's lots of talk and scary news about food shortages and all kinds of crazy things happening in the food industry right now. So I don't believe that we need to have a spirit of fear. But if you can raise some of your own food, like we have a little garden back there and some egg layers, and now we're gonna get some meat bars. If you can, why not? It sure does taste better than what's in the grocery store. I can promise you that. It is no comparison. You won't be disappointed with the taste. So let us know, drop a comment. If you're thinking about doing something like this yourself, even if you don't have a farm, we'd love to hear what your setup is, what you guys have growing on your property this year. Uh, we would just appreciate you guys tuning in. Stick around to see these chicks grow and to see what else we have growing back here in our yard. All right, we love you guys. Take care.